Hi, my name is Cody Hansen, and I'm a 22 year old that runs a video production company here in Minnesota. I was gonna come to the open calls in Minneapolis, but then it got canceled, so I decided to make this video to send it in. Survivor has been a big staple for me in life and even in a lot of my relationships. I started watching Survivor over 10 years ago and have seen nearly every season. Last year for my birthday, my fiance surprised me by reaching out to a bunch of Survivor players to send in a video uh, wishing me a happy birthday. Yo, what's up, Cody? Heard it's your birthday. Happy birthday. Here's a birthday song for you, buddy. Happy birthday to you. Hey, Cody, what's up? Happy birthday. Hey, what's up, Cody? It's me, Tony. Just want to wish you a happy birthday. I know you're turning 21. And also, I want to give you some advice. If you do play Survivor, the first thing you need to do is pay attention to who the most influential player is. The person that's trying to drive the votes and take charge. That's the person that you try to take out without people knowing. You plant the seeds and you get that person out first. All right, that's my advice to you and you'll do very good if you listen to that. All right, later. Hey Cody, it's uh, David Wright from Survivor. You probably don't recognize me because I eat food now. And through that, we actually got to FaceTime Kelly Wentworth for like 45 minutes just talking about life and Survivor. And you know, I've been a Survivor fan for a long time, so that was just such a fun experience for me. And because of that, um, I wanted to, you know, really start to get putting uh, this video together. I'm a driven, hardworking individual that is motivated by goals and achieving them. I'm somebody who likes to be in a position to lead and is more comfortable if I'm in full control. I like to think that I'm a pretty socially aware person trying to be mindful of the people around me and I think that's what you know makes me sort of more of an innate leader. I believe that I can use my self-awareness and my leadership strengths to help me get further in the game of Survivor. I've also been pretty interested in athletics all of my life through you know elementary school, middle school, and high school playing soccer, baseball, football. And in high school, I found this sport ultimate frisbee and unfortunately at my school there was no team so I eventually created a team got enough kids together and we started playing ultimate in tournaments and leagues around the state I think this was the first experience that I had really being in a leadership like role I think I would use these skills and leverage these things and bring them into the game but among all that I'm still somebody at heart who loves people loves relationships loves stories and loves traveling growing up my family was never a very big traveling family vacation family and so when I got my license and started to have the opportunity to initiate road trips, I started traveling as much as I could. And that's sort of how I got into photography and videography. These are the kind of things that really just provides fulfillment for me is new experiences, um, just trying new things in life and just seeing what you know this world has to offer for me. And so I think the survivor experience plays a big role in that. And that's why I would love so much to, to make it on the show. I hope my heart for the game and developed a vision for how I would play will hopefully get me into the next round of talking to you guys of why I think I would be a good fit on the show. I look forward to hopefully talking with some of you more and thank you, thank you for the opportunity. Appreciate it. Other good reasons I'd be good on Survivor, I don't have any allergies that are notable. Fiji's a lot nicer than Minneapolis. I'm also a dog lover, um, so I know that that's probably a pretty big deal.